Hello, everybody. Hello, and welcome to EAM, to the Youth Hostel in EAM. I'm sorry about the um, the technical issues. I've got a light behind me. Might have to turn the light down. <laughs> but I've got a light coming out the top of my head. No, Mr. Skidder's just on. It's not, he's not, Mr. Skidder's not on anything. It's all just a little bit strange. I'm just going to check with. There we go. Mrs. Johnson says we're live. Right. Okay. We'll, we'll try and turn the lights down a bit, but um, the power supply was a little bit dodgy. So I've had to kind of be sitting in a cupboard, but all the children are here and we are having the most amazing time. So um, I mean, hopefully you've been able to look at the pictures on uh, Facebook and uh, see the, the amazing things that we've been doing today. So we've got three rounds of our quiz. So you've got your teams, you've got your pencils ready, everybody. So, right. So we are ready to go. So the first round, oh, that's maybe too dark, Mr. Skinner. Oh my goodness, we'll just leave it, we'll just leave it. Right, the first round, nobody wants to see me anyway, is about, all about EAM and our visit up here. So we went to Crite, remember, yesterday, didn't we, to our thing. Right, so the first question is, you just need to write the answers down, but don't shout out. So the first question is, when did the plague in EAM start? Shh. Tell anybody, because people at home might not know this. Just write it down. Write it down. That's it. Okay. Right. Got it written down? Excellent. Right, got thumbs up from Sydney. Right, question number two. rustling with the sweets who was the vicar the rector do you remember we saw him on the church window today who was the vicar in Eam the man who decided you had to lock down so if you google it at home no googling allowed Shh. <laughs> you got to have both his names see if you can remember his first name and his no. Right. Just a bit of debate to who it is. Right. No, you ready? Right. Okay. Number three. Listen up then. How many people died in total? Died. Remember, we looked at that today when we we're in the museum. Okay. You got your answers? Yeah. Good to go? Right. Right. Number four. What was the job of the person who opened the bundle of cloth? What was his job? No, not his, not the, no, not his, not his actual thing he had to do, his, his actual role. The name of the job he... <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Are we all right, Mrs. Jakes? Good to go? Right. Number five. Margaret, Margaret Blackwell, who was 14, her brother left her and he thought she, well, she definitely got the plague and he thought she was going to die. But what did she do when he'd gone out the house that made her be cured? What did she do? I don't think this is actually a cure for the plague, but it worked for Margaret. Good to go? Right, number six. This was what we looked at today when we went into the museum. Maybe, maybe people at home know this as well, but why did people light fires? 
We saw it on that in London. They got fires. Why were they lighting fires? Okay. Got the answers? Right, Archie? Excellent. Right, number seven. And we went there today. We walked. We had a lovely walk today. It's been so beautiful and sunny. We walked all the way out to the boundary stone, didn't we? So why did people, why did the, sorry, no, not even that. That's not even the question. The Sorry, it's been a quite a long day. The villagers paid for food with money. But what was the money disinfected in? It's not hand sanitizer, is it? Not in 1600 and frozen to death. Okay. Number eight. We saw this when we went into the museum as well today. What was the plague doctor's mask? Filled with. So we saw the plague doctors with their big long mask. What was it filled with? What did they say, Mr. Skinner? Oh, Brian, Brian he's put hand up to answer, but that's fine. Just write it down. Bless. It's okay. I think you might be right, sir. I think you need to listen to Seth. I think he might be right. Yeah. Okay. There's a bit of debate about this one. What would it be filled with? Are we good? Are we struggling with that one? Ooh. I think Seth knows. He knew exactly what it was. Right, they looked a bit scary, didn't they, those plague doctors with those horrible masks? Right, and then the last two on this round, these are about the um, the information that we had yesterday when we were at Crouch and that Tim, the lovely chap, showed, talked to us, didn't he? And so, Mrs. Skinner, can you stay away? <laughs> Skinner's yawning. Right, number nine, think hard. I think Bethany might know the answer to this. Think about Bethany. Think about what she did. How many hours could a tram horse work for in one stretch, one go? Because we, we'd learned all about the trams at Crite. It was very interesting. And they were pulled by the horses. And Bethany had the opportunity to be a tram horse, which was brilliant. <laughs> Have we got that one? Yep, good, right. And the last one then on this round. Right, you've got to think hard about this one. When we got onto the tram yesterday, and we all had that sit on that tram, didn't we? And it was really exciting. And, 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 and um, Isabel got to be the driver, didn't you, Isabel? And uh, Seth, you became the conductor, and it was brilliant. And they had one of those clippy things that were really exciting. I'm going to go at that. Right. Um, three, now, there were three things that you were not allowed to do on a tram. Three things that you weren't allowed to do on the tram. There was probably more than three things, but these were the things we couldn't do. Oh, you could be a conductor on a tram, Seth. That could be your job. Okay, right. Think know the answers to those? Do we know we do we know those? We were excited about the trams, weren't we? Right, okay. Right, round two then. Next round, we have got a round all about um science and, and nature and that kind of thing. So Brain switched on at the ready. First question. How many legs does a spider have? Oh, that 
wasn't a very very quiet quiz, was it? I mean, everybody heard that. There could be a prize for this, you know. Right. Number two. If you freeze water, what will you have made? If you freeze water. Lots of chat. Lots of chat and a lot of sweets being eaten tonight. Despite the fact we've had a lot of food. Right, question number three. What type of... What type of fish is Nemo? <laughs> They've not got the yet. Yeah, if you didn't know at home, you do now. Can I repeat the question? Brilliant. What type of fish is Nemo? Question. Number four, Mr. Skinner said it was a starfish. I think he's wrong, don't you? Way wrong, way wrong. Right, what is a, and I can spell this word, what is a doe? And it, the word doe is spelled D-O-E. So what is a doe? D-O-E, like... No, it could have been, but it wasn't. Good phonics there. What is a doe? Hugo, yeah, Hugo probably does know this one because Hugo knows a lot about animals, doesn't he? Do you? Marvellous. Are there some unusual answers, Mrs. Jakes? Right. Right, number five. Oh, excellent. What is a what is a group of lions called so it's a collective noun for a group of lions Ooh. good knowledge in the room here must be all this sugar <laughs> walking the walking sorry not the sugar the walking all that fresh air must have stimulated our minds it's the sugar for you is it yeah <laughs> Right, number six. Number six. How many colours are there in a rainbow? Not what are they, but how many? Colours in the rainbow. That's right. Sorry? Do they not? Need to teach them, Mr. Skinner. Absolutely. Right, number eight, seven. Shh, listen up. Number seven, what food, what food do pandas eat? Baked beans. They don't eat baked beans, Mr. Skinner. What food do pandas eat? Pandas. They don't use tin openers and get the spoon out. Well done. Number eight. Two of the planets in our solar system begin with the letter Mm. Mm. M. Can you name them? Have you got them? Have you got them, Ellie? Marvellous. Question nine. Oh, you're not done. Oh, time's up. Got to move on. Got, got to get on. You were doing that on the plane. Plane. We're on a plane. We're on a bus. On the plane. You, you, you and Mr. Skinner were doing it together. 
Dexter doesn't agree with my question. Number nine, what kind of tree do acorns come from? And it's not an acorn tree. Do you keep telling them the wrong answer, Mr. Skinner? No, he's not. He's giving them the wrong answers. He's trying to just... He's, try, he's trying to throw them off the scent. Right. Number nine, 10. Number 10. How many bones do sharks have? <laughs> Babies? Do you know how many bones babies have? How many? Two thousand eight hundred and eighteen bones. What a baby? What a human baby? Wow. Are you sure. Right. Okay. You've got an answer. Right, we're going on to round three now then. Last round, round three, is our general knowledge round. What did you say, Ted? Are you good at general knowledge? No. You might be. You might surprise yourself. It could be anything. It could be really random stuff. It could be all about Man United. It's not. But it could, but it, but it could have. Right, number one. Shh, eyes down. How many sides? How many sides does that? How many sides does a hexagon have? A hexagon. Quite a few vary, varying answers between five and eight. Right. We got an answer? Number two. What colour are sapphires? What colour are sapphires? <laughs> Somebody just asked if that's a flower. Is it like a flower? It's not a flower, Seth. It's not a flower. Like, not. That's not a question, that's just a fact. Right. Right, number three. What two what two colours make up the flag of Spain? Ooh. Ted will know that. He knows all about football, don't you, Ted? Except he shouted it out. He got it right, you see, there you go, Teddy, general knowledge. Boom. Good boy. I'm not entirely sure it is red and green. Right. Got an answer? Number four. Which famous building did Guy Fawkes try to blow up? You don't know who Guy Fawkes is? No. Oh. So why would you ask this Why would I ask you a question? Bonfire night. Guy Fawkes. The fire, the bonfire. The whole point of it. No. No. We don't know. Does anybody know who Guy Fawkes was? 
Oh yeah, a couple of people. Bryony knows, and uh, Ellie knows. Shit. <laughs> right. We know this one, right? Number five. Are you ready? What is the name of? Are you ready, Seth? What is the name of Harry Potter's? I haven't given you Harry Potter's what yet? She knows it. But she knows it. Bethany knows it. What is the name of Harry Potter's pet owl? Bethany knows it because Bethany's reading the Half Blood Prince. You're reading the books. What are you on? Philosopher's Stone. Excellent. Right. Do you know it, Quinn? You're a Harry Potter girl, aren't you? Right. Number six. How many days are there in June? Right. <laughs> well done, <laughs> I think we're all going to get 30 out of 30. <laughs> right. Number seven. Right. This is a word. You've got to give me the word that goes before ache brush and paste there's a word that you can put before the same word that can go before ache brush and paste same word what did you say earlier mr skinner that was Head. It's not head. Oh, a lot of concentration. It's not head, is it, Bo? Right, number number eight. In in the in the nursery rhyme. Who lost her sheep? In the nursery rhyme, somebody lost her sheep. Who lost? Well, if I tell you which nursery rhyme. No, that's Mary. She had a little lamb. She didn't lose them. She just had one. Somebody else lost Mary. It's all gone a bit wrong. Who lost her sheep? And it's not Mary. Do you know who it is? It's not Mary. It's not Mary. Obsessed with Mary. Who was in a grave? Mary. No. Called Mary. Right, number nine. Which sport is played with a shuttlecock? A shuttlecock. <laughs> and do you know what that one is? Do you know what that one is, Archie? Shuttlecock. And the final one is how many hours are there in two days? The hours are there in two days. 
Right. Are we going to swap to Mark then, Mr. Skinner? Oh, I think so. We right, happy? we'll swap round to Mark then, so you can do that at home. Swap round. No cheating. No Googling. And we can whiz through the answers and see who's won. Yeah, don't worry about spellings. Yeah. Right, we swapped. Okay, listen up then. Right, number one, the plague. The plague started in Eam in, so these are all for one mark, okay, so it's just one mark. The plague started, the plague, the plague started in Eam in 1665. It's either right or wrong. It can't be a bit right. Number two, the vicar in Eam was called William Mompesson. Oh, yeah, we need the yeah. full name. You need William and then Mompesson. Did, you, did they get it? Did they put George? Oh, I want George, was it? William. Right, number three. There were there were 260 people died in the village. 260. And number four. The person who opened it, George Vickers, who opened it, he was a tailor's assistant. Are we accepting Taylor? We'll accept Taylor. He was a tailor. Got his bale of cloth from London containing the old plane. Right, number five. Mark. He was a carpenter. Yeah. Tell you what, you, you clothes would be a bit stiff if you were made out of wood, wouldn't they? Right, number five, Margaret Blackwell, bless her, who did recover, so it kind of thought it might have been a cure. She drank the bacon fat. Bacon. Right. Number six. People lit the fires because they thought that the plague was in the air and they believed that the rising smoke would push up the infection up into the clouds. Which was wrong. Right, number seven. The villagers, when they put their money in the stone, it was disinfected with vinegar. Well done, it was disinfected with vinegar. It's very clever. Number, number eight, the plague doctor's mask. The big beaky mask was filled with sweet smelling things. So it could be herbs, it could be um, flowers, it could be um, poses of things, spices to, to take away the smell. Yeah. Number nine then. Kreitch, Bethany, our horse, she could work for three hours at a time. So my nine is three. She didn't today. She didn't. She had a good go. There. She had a good go. It was a long walk. And number 10, three things, just the three that you apparently weren't allowed to do on a tram. 
I was going to go one point for all three, Mr. Skinner. Was that a bit harsh? Well, we're going to go. I'm going to go whole point. You have to get all three. No, no. So the first thing that you couldn't do was you couldn't spit, which you still can't do. The second thing you couldn't do was smoke, which you still can't do. And the third thing that you couldn't do was pets. You weren't allowed to take any animals on a tram. One mark. You've got to get all three to get one mark. Right. Right. That was out of 10. So right at the bottom, how many they got out of 10? Add them up. Add them up at home. See if you got 10 out of 10. You have to have all three, Ellie. They didn't get all three. They can't have a point. Lovely. 10 out of 10. Oh, that's good. Right. Round two then. Science. Right. A spider has got eight legs. If you freeze water, you will get ice. Easy one. Oh, ice. 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 Nemo is a clownfish. Not a starfish. And he's always wrong. And a, a doe is a is a female deer. You put what? A baby deer. It's a baby deer. It's a female deer. Skinner's got hay fever. Right, number number five. A group of lions is called a pride. Pride. A pride of lions. Put a pot. A cat. A pack. Oh, no, it's a pride. And number um, six. How many colours are in the rainbow? There are seven. <laughs> Two planets are Dexter. Dexter, shout out the name of the two planets. Mercury and Mars. Well done. Yep, yeah, Mercury and Mars. That's fine. They're just they're just going the wrong way around. Right, many moons. Right, pandas eat bamboo. That was me. It was my fault. I said it the wrong way around. I just said it the wrong way around. Sorry. No, no, we're on. No, I've just got the wrong way around. This is number nine now. What kind of trees do acorns come from? It's oak. No, no, I reversed the question, sorry. And how many bones do sharks have? How many bones do sharks have? No. They don't have any. None. Right. Count up. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. And 
on the last round. Nearly job. Right. How many sides does a hexagon have? Six. Six sides on a hexagon. Sapphires are blue. You put gold. Red. A ruby. Ted, which two colours make up the flag of Spain? Red and yellow. Well done. Well done. The famous building that Guy Fawkes tried to blow up was the Houses of Parliament. And Harry Potter's owl is called Hedwig. Well done, Hedwig. Well done, Bethany. There are 30 days in June. 30 days in June. Strange answers. And the word that goes before eight brush. The word that goes before ache brush, ache, 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 ache brush is tooth, tooth, tooth brush. Okay, that's all right. Right. In the nursery rhyme, apart from Mary, who it wasn't, who lost her sheep? Do you not know? No, no, Mary has a little lamb. Well done, Bethany. Little Bo Peep. Well done, Bethany knew little Bo Peep. You are literally the only person that knew that, Bethany. Which sport is paid played with a shuttlecock? Badminton. Badminton. And the final one, how many hours are there in two days? 48 hours. Right, total it up. And then we will tell you who is the winning team. So add it all up. And then pass it back to your people. Pass it back to your people at home. Who's got the most? Any marks? Door shut in. Have you all got your sheets back? So it's just a bit of asking up going on. It's all right. We're just doing a bit of totaling. Add them up. A bit tricky to add out of 30. Right then, are we ready? This is the hardest part. Get to them back. Right then, let's see. Right. So, which? So we got a team over here. Right, the brain kids. So we've got Archie, we've got Quinn, we've got Ava, we've got Oscar, and we've got Seth. And what did you get in your team? We've got 29. 29? Right, okay, right. What's your team called, Ellie? 
the sugar rushes. Right, so we've got Ted, we've got Isabel, we've got Ellie, and we've got Eli, and we've got Bethany. So what did you get? 25. 25. Ooh. Right. Who's at the bottom? Irish eggs. Irish eggs. We've got Colton. Darcy and Darcy. We've got Hugo. Hugo. Maddie, what did you get? 25. Oh, right. Then who have we got? The double creamers. And we've got Sabrina, Sabrina Nico, Nico, Emmy, Emmy Esme, 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 and Dexter and Holly. 26. Ooh. And finally, we've got the super sugar. The super sugar. There's a lot of sugar going on in here. There is. And a lot of it. Theo, Friday, Black, Sid. And what did you get? 25. Oh, so the team over there, which I've completely forgotten what you were called. The Brain Kids have won. So give every break of the Brain Kids a big old clap. Well done. Right. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully you had a bit of fun at home and you might have known some of the answers. Maybe the children knew. Um, some more of the answers about Eam than you did, I don't know. But um, but anyway, you've had a fun, we've had a fantastic time, haven't we? And we're looking forward to um, going to pack our cases in a minute. And then we are uh, we're making our way back home tomorrow um, after we've been to the Heights of Abraham. I think it's going to be a bit, a bit wet tomorrow, but um, we've got our waterproof, so we should be fine. So, um, so yeah, so we'll say night-night to everybody and uh, we'll see you all tomorrow, okay? Bye! Bye.